Well, what a week. Oh, that's cold. And weather becomes news news, it rained and it rained. Fortunately, most people were well prepared. And I just shot in yesterday morning um, and grabbed um, an extra couple of bottles of wine. Even though in some places, the water was right up to people's calves. Ah. Sorry. Speaking of leather, despite being the leader of one of the biggest gangs in the world, the Pope has never been officially patched. Well, until now. In other jacket-related news, if you ever wondered what happened to all those puppies the royal couple got gifted for their wedding, we finally have the answer. It's her coat! In political news, Leanne Dalzell reveals she'll be contesting the Christchurch mayoralty. Winston Peters denies he's been making racist comments. I wouldn't be remotely concerned about a fallacious complaint which is bound to fail because it's not based on fact. And also denies he was ever in the presence of the Greens and Labour. We asked for a group photo with the three leaders. Shearer and Norman agreed. Winston promptly left. MediaWorks goes into receivership of sorts, but apparently it's not actually a bad thing. Everyone's pretty relaxed about the announcement and their jobs have been guaranteed. Slightly concerning quote of the week goes to All Black Matt Todd after this training session with Shirley Boys High. There's a bit of whipped cream and stuff over there which could be quite entertaining later on. And finally, it's a two-way tie in this week's I Wish I'd Never Asked category. First this, to Miss Utah on how to solve the gender pay gap. And I think especially the men are um, seen as the leaders of this, and so we need to try to figure out how to create education better so that we can solve this problem. And then this from Field Days. Farmers and their families are here to buy. Oh, I think Liz might have bought some semen. Salmon? Semen? Semen, yeah. Semen. Do, you city, pe do you people, city people know what semen is? <laughs>